Some Trenton police officers are being accused of shooting an unarmed innocent man and now his family has filed suit. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shana Humphreys and I'm Jason Martinez and that man is now paralyzed. Jeff Cole live in Trenton with what we know tonight. Jeff. Yeah, we've got conflicting reports. First, the Trenton police seem to indicate here in documents they've filed that Juwan Henderson was sitting in his car, or apparently in a vehicle here last month, and tried to flee the scene. That's apparently what prompted the shooting. Henderson's lawyers say he had gone out to get some iced tea. He was an innocent, unarmed man, and now he is gravely injured. Just after midnight on Saturday, February 12th, along Center Street in Trenton, 29-year-old Juwan Henderson goes to his car to get iced tea, say his attorneys. Moments later, there are gunshots. They awoke this woman who asked that we not show her face. I heard three, four gunshots. I ran downstairs, looked through my blind. I seen the cop pull a guy out of the car, put him on the ground, was doing chest compressions. Henderson's lawyers say plain clothed Trenton police officers were the shooters of an innocent man. He was unarmed. He was sitting in a car alone and he was shot four or five times by a police officer under color of law. These officers sworn to protect and serve all appear to have rushed to the execution mode. These officers devalued the life of yet another black man. Henderson's attorneys, along with his mother, spoke to reporters Thursday to announce a lawsuit and call for police to release body camera video of the incident. I'm here to get justice for my son, Juwan, and I wanted Trent Police Crime Unit and the officers that were involved in that shooting that night to be accountable. Trenton police would not comment. Henderson is charged with two felony counts of obstruction of justice and resisting arrest. His attorneys claim initial charges of aggravated assault linked to an allegation he tried to flee the scene have now been dropped. He did hit another car. Whether it was, it had to be after the cop shot him because he did hit the other car. Henderson's mother says her son's whereabouts and condition were kept from her for days and she now wants answers. He went out to the car, he was stopped by people he didn't know, and he ends up paralyzed from the chest down. Now again, the Trenton police would not comment. There is body cam video of this incident, say uh, his lawyers, and they say they very much want to see it. They're calling for it to be released to them. This case is being investigated by the Union County prosecutor. It normally would be investigated by the Mercer County uh, prosecutor's office. Apparently there was a conflict there. Union County is doing the case. We called a number of times and did not hear back from them. Live in Trenton, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, folks. Thank you, Jeff.